Welcome today uh, to not our first uh, podcast, of course, here at PM, but uh, yes, with me, our first one. Um, we are taking a closer look at our sports stars, uh, fitline athletes, and uh, basically just getting to know them a little better, uh, finding out what makes them tick, what drives them forward uh, to, to perform, to succeed, uh, and obviously uh, reach for their goals. And hopefully through our new uh, series of you know more of the sports uh, concentrated podcasts we can all learn a little bit more of course about our, uh, our fit line athletes uh, but also take away things um, for our own personal growth uh, for our, the growth of our businesses and um, use it to to drive us forward as well so today with me I have a, a, a very still a very young man uh, but very much accomplished already in his uh, chosen sport which is boxing um, he has won the IBF world junior championship already um, so already uh, reached a very elite level and a uh, high status in his own right um, he's undefeated he's 18 and 0 um, he's in his early 20s and he is right here from around the corner uh, in Germany. We are here live from Luxembourg, obviously. And uh, with me, I have Leon Bauer. Yeah, thanks for the community. Thanks you for having me here. And um, for doing my also, I think it's the first time I'm doing a podcast like this. And um, yeah, I'm really happy to be here and um, to make everything moving forward, you know. Um, my early 20s, sometimes I feel older than, than I'm really at. Really um, but I think that's a part of the sport, maybe one of the better of the sport, that you're pushing yourself so much to limit it, you sometimes feel older than you really are. But I think everything is cool. Yeah. Um, I mean, you, you're talking about your age already, and I mean, you are quite young still um, in, in all aspects of life. Uh, but we were together, and then not maybe not even a month ago, we did. Yeah, we did we, we good. Yeah, I also um, put it on my Instagram, and uh, you know, a lot of people were saying, but I didn't even know that you speak English. Man, you know the boxing is the boxing is everything in English. You know, I I speak English since I'm since I'm a little kid. My father taught mm. me to speak English already, and I was like, yeah, maybe now you know, you know, uh, you have to be multicultural. You have to be, you know, pick up your mind and always working on yourself, even if if this is a, a image or that you can answer on different different um, languages or something else, and um, yeah, and the, the the video, the whole video was. Very good. I got very good feedback, and um, I'm happy to be here and maybe to to working more with Fitline or PM in the future that we can work more together and um, making more podcasts, videos, and everything. Yeah, sure. No, I mean we're we're all for it, and uh, I mean you know yourself now. You're you're long enough with us. We're all yeah. for working. I mean our you know our, our first and foremost thing is working as a team. And, yeah, of uh, course. Like 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 the philosophy. Um, yeah, yeah, moving forward together. But again, today you forgot something, now. Yeah, but it was, uh, I, I don't even know it was my mistake, you know, I, I was like, um, I f sometimes I forget about that, the belt, you know, it's like, like I told you when, when we made the interview, um, it, everything sounds so wonderful till you achieved it and then it becomes normal. Mm. So, and the belt is really a big, a big achievement in my career, but since I've earned it and I defended a couple of times, you know, it becomes normal. But, you know, now I forget about it because... Or there was like less 50-50 falls of mine and 50 falls of me because <laughs> you, you you didn't tell me that I have to bring it with yeah. me. So, but next time I will. So Yeah, good. Now we, we look forward to seeing it. Okay, like, let's take it then. Let's take it a little bit back for, for everybody listening and, and watching. Um, why... We did obviously we did the yeah. interview, but there was a lot of yeah, things yeah. obviously not included or included. yeah, of course it was short. And I still love to pick up on some points. For example, um, in today's world, kids, yeah. uh, you know, young people growing up, the majority of sports chosen always, you know, football, basketball, the of course the highlight More. sports. Yeah, 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 yeah. What? Why boxing for you? How did it start? Or how did you how did you get your first pair of yeah, gloves? Yeah, it was like there's also a video I can show you more. Or I already showed it. I don't even know. Um, I had my dad gave me my first gloves before I was even able to walk, really. 
and and she gave me, and he gave me gloves and he let me hit on everything who was in his in our house before on him on everything else on my mother and I was like you know he he brought me to the sport even if if he wasn't training everything what was combined with a sport not not the sport of boxing the sport of the fight game in general um I was with him and so it was one of the first let's say influence I get in my life you know everything was sport and it was just um, a question of time where I, when I'm old enough to to do it by my own and my dad was always teaching me about uh, the very good things about the sport about uh, you know that you have no, nothing like racism in sport you know everyone is the same hard work and dedication discipline not not just in training out of training you know to stay away from criminality from or from everything and um, the sport of boxing shows me a lot of big and important things in life you know and um, I, it was never planned to be a professional fighter it was like my dad always wanted for me till we are 18 he want to make strong kids and he wanted the sport as a part of our life because it it gives us a lot of things he can't he can also, but you know, on a way we can we can see it by our own. So and we can live it and create it by our our own. And um, when I was thirteen, fifteen, had the first fights going on, and boxing was always a part of you know of jumping in my own world. I can forget about everything. Mm. It wasn't like okay, now I'm doing boxing and make big money. I love what I'm doing, and no no money on this world could pay me. The, the 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 love, yeah. I'm I'm do I'm doing or I'm working when I have my gloves on. You know, yeah. you can't pay that. You know, and you you live for, or you don't live for it. So and um, then I jump into it. It was like we were, we was talking uh, not 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 the with the individual last the first time, but you know you know what is going on to be a professional athlete and everything else. It was a very hard way, and even right now, not only because of the duration, because it's always you have to take care, yeah, what what you're writing, where you where you put your signature on. But you know, in general, I love the sport. I love doing. I love the competition. Mm. You know, and um, I'm made for the competition. It's like if yeah. if a camera is on, then then I can put on my attitude and everything you know it's like sometimes i gotta feel like i'm born for it so yeah this was uh, i mean this leads me on to to my next uh, question or point if you like um so if you had to really so you have a bit of experience now in in, in boxing and also yourself in boxing um yeah. what is th the most special thing about boxing to you whether that's you know, being in the ring or, or the training part, or like you say, maybe, um, you know, it, it arises some type of emotion. From what, what would you say is the, like, the, the, the most yeah. specific part in boxing is the guarantee. You will never have the guarantee to win a fight. Doesn't matter how good prepared you are, because every, every hand can end up a fight in one second. Mm -hmm. And this is what I love. You know, we live in, in a world... Um, a lot there's a lot of politics. You can pay that this team wins or that this lose and everything. But you know, boxing or fighting has always been every punch can end up a fight, and I love this. You know, have a risk. So, yeah, yeah. and um, boxing is also you know you will not always. There's no boxer on this world who always won. It's about it's not about winning or losing. It's about fighting and just to fail the decision to step up there. Mm. You know, gives you a feeling. It's not about you already have won if you step in the ring. So yeah, yeah, sure. The people always say, ah, he's the loser or this, but you know, put up, take your in your hand and go up once for three minutes, mm. and then you can talk with us. So yeah. and even if it, if you never felt the decision, it's like to be a key keyboard warrior, you know, on the internet with fries and cola in your hand and say, ah, oh, you could throw more body punches or something like this, but you take your and go in the ring for three minutes and you can talk with us because you know it's not about. The, what happens in the ring it's about you know to to get up and sleep every day and every night with that feeling to get nervous to know okay now I'm going into a fight so it's really like for you it's it's really about like you say maybe living for that one in or one sort of a millisecond or one decision whether it's like a punch for you or a punch for the of other course, guy but it's course. this like edge of, of course, not knowing maybe of course you know in my opinion it's also you know my my philosophy of life 
I think life, there's nothing guarant for guarantee. You know, I don't know. I don't have a guarantee that I, that I can get up tomorrow, you know. Mm -hmm. And this is like, and um, there's also nothing for, okay, for sure or for guarantee. And this is why I'm loving the risk, mm -hmm. you know. If I don't risk it, I, I never know. Maybe I fail, okay, but then I try once, try twice. And it's like, I think success is just the amount mm -hmm. of failure, mm -hmm. you know. No, no one is born like a winner, but you can you can work on you and create your own mindset to be a winner. But you know the amount of success or the success is just big as the amount of failure you already have achieved in your life. And it's not everyone, but it's also like the people are looking of failure that it, this is something bad, but it's part of the process. You know what I mean? Yeah. And um, this is like, and if you can go through it and stay stay in your own lane, then I think. You are, every one of us is able to achieve exactly this what he is gunning or looking for. Yeah. And uh, speaking about the, the, the small instances and, and situations, we touched on it like in the interview. Um, standing sort of toe to toe with, a, with another person. Yeah. And knowing in this moment that, let's say, uh, it's either me or him or you also in the same moments knowing okay this guy is like gunning for me yeah he, he wants to also as much as i want to destroy him he wants yeah, to destroy me of course what's what's like the feelings in this moment because obviously these are sort of instances where a lot of people we don't yeah. experience yeah of course of what course. what is going through your mind what are you feeling are you, you know is there a certain amount of fear or what is it exactly of course uh, it's it's like everything in the same moment you know Every fighter who is telling you uh, he don't have fear, he's a liar. Every one of us, you know. When a Mike Tyson says he was shitting his pants half an hour before the fight, you know, then don't come to me and say you don't have fear. Fear is, and also this is also a big thing, fear is something good because it shows us or everyone else, okay, now we have to take care. Now we have to take care. We are now have to stay, okay, active and um, stay also active in mind, yeah. And, um, you know, in the last time, the worst time is the the last hour or the, let's say the last 50 minutes, you know, um, one of uh, one of the camera team uh, or one of the television comes comes in and it was like, okay, you are next. And then, you know, okay, now you have 50 minutes till you're in the ring. And this time, you know, you're thinking about everything. You <laughs> didn't even know if you get up tomorrow. You, it could be the end after after 60 minutes, but it's like, it's like just mind games, mm. you know, but I love the competition and I love it to mess myself up with other people. I, I wanted to know till, till everything I get, if I'm able to achieve something, if I'm the best or not. And I'm also willing to test it um, again and again. And, um, but it's like, you know, we fight, the fighters world is very specific because, you know, a lot of, I'm also fearing of fighting, but it's like, you know, this is my kind of um, my kind of feeling myself you know I have to go I have to go through it you know this is my kind of, of success of not success in life or money or something else on success for me for my person this is my this is my kind of way I, wa I want to walk yeah. and um, but and then it's like you know okay it's like a kind of a, a good feeling, but also a fear feeling. Let's see, well, you or me. And it, the, the, this is competition feeling. This competition feeling is like, I don't even know where this comes from. I, I really can't tell you, but I since I am a kid, I, I was this this guy of, um, I just also want to show show you all what I'm, what I'm, yeah, on which stuff I've, ma I'm, I've made for all, what can I also achieve in life? Mm. Not for you, but just for me, and how far can I go from, from, from a little guy who was a little fatty in, in, in middle school, but who, who, who just believed in a vision, in a vision. And, um, is this, is this more, is this more than, like you say, you, you want to show, you want to achieve, is it more for your drive? Is it more for really for you coming from within? Or do you also, um, have a chip on your shoulder because of, certain uh people or situations doubting what you can do or you know it's, it's mixed it's mixed up sometimes i felt like that the people from outside who never trusted me who never believed me who never had one good word for me um that they give me the last 
percent of motivation I need mm. to win or to to get through it. So <laughs> it was it would be a lie when I say no. I just make. It, of course, I make it for my own because I know what it feels like or what it means to get up and to work three times a day to go to gym and really to push yourself to the limit. You know, till you don't want to do anything more, just fell in bed with your training stuff, sweating on you because you are so f tired. And um, but this is part of the game, you know. And everyone, every sport athlete, it's not it's not about boxing. Boxing is just something specific because you're fighting with someone, and it doesn't really how fit you are. Every punch can end up a fight in every second. But generally, to live a, a, a life of a professional athlete is something very specific because the people don't know to understand. You can't say, okay, you just go to the gym and on the rest you to just do what you want to do. No, you have to live it or to let it go. This is my opinion to be a very professional athlete, and um, yes, this, yeah. this is crazy. It's crazy, yeah, yeah. For sure. but it was also it has a lot of influence because of the people. Mm. Because it's like for me, I was also talking to um, to very big and and famous people like Klitschko or or some some big some people in life who are also have achieved a lot, and I can learn a lot of. And um, it was like you. You're approaching different parts of success. First of all, no one is believing you. Then you got a little, 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 like a short, a little hype. Everyone is believing in you till you get the first failure. And then everything is again against you. Yeah. So, and this is like an up, down, up, down. You yeah. know, tomorrow they're with you and today they're against you. Yeah, you know, sure. but this is the people, even if, if where the wind is, you know, yeah. and um, you have to really, it's, it's just like you are just as strong as your mindset is yeah. this is if i can say one thing then it would be this okay and you you mentioned something interesting there about um a lot of people really not knowing um what it means or what it takes to be a professional athlete yeah actually and i i found this late uh also uh late more later on when i also um sort of came out of sport uh myself but mm -hmm. a lot of people don't actually realize the amount of um different sacrifices of course. you have to make of so like you mentioned some of them how how really how um you have to train and build your body up to a certain level that yeah. is really for most people unimaginable yeah. um and then you have things such as you know uh, nutrition or sacrifices where you you know you can't go out yeah. with your friends it's and not only about this you know it's like also okay could the next girlfriend you know, maybe I fall in love, mm. but she's 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 a kind of um, she's against my training. Mm. Okay, do I go against my hurt and my love, mm. uh, or do I? How bad do I really want it? You know, and there are so much. Mm. Maybe your best friend. You know, and it's like to to be also stay in your lane. You know, mm. I think the the the. Um, the stars or the, the people I look up to, maybe the best fighters that have ever been here, they once have been on the same point where I am. Mm -hmm. And it just asking yourself, okay, do oh, I'm, I'm good enough? Or where, you know, after a failure or a losing fight or something else, you know, the people are always talking. Everyone, everyone knows it better than yourself, mm -hmm. you know, yeah, sure. but no one, no one is willing to walk the walk. And um, this is like, you have to go, you have to be really focused and you have to be a really strong character also, you know, that you're just letting things through your mind mm -hmm. who are also willing to help you or to take you down, mm -hmm. you know. I think for the most of them keyboard warriors from social media, from Facebook and everything or from the newspaper, you know, they are just writing something down but I never wear gloves and this is like, you know, left inside right outside because mm. you know but if you want to criticize me it's okay then show me that you can do it better first yeah and then we can talk about it i'm the first who say hey let's criticize me i want to learn but please if you never was in the gym don't tell me how to work you yeah. know you know what i mean and this is and this is um the 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 Best situa or uh, situations where where you can make you struggle can come in front of a girl, mm. of one of a boy, of a relationship, of maybe or of your friend, of the hard training, of staying disciplined, of doing drugs, alcohol, of the red light, of party, of the showtime. It doesn't matter, you know. Everyone, every type of guy have his own uh, things where he's very good in 
or things where he can he struggle a little bit and to fight against his struggle to every day when you get up to go against yourself no you don't do this you do it the right way you stay I stay mm -hmm. in my own lane because you know it was always shine everything is shining you know and the shine blends always mm -hmm. you know and shows everything what for the moment when you're when you're partying you know and and money that doesn't make any sense or you're everything girls and drinks and everything everything is cool you're you're sitting with, with famous people but after that you're lying in your bed and just just for the moment and then but you know then we realized nothing is really true that there's only one thing that is really true and this is what you put in yeah. because that's the only thing that you control you that's the only thing you can, you should deal with and that's the only thing you can expect and don't expect something from other people what you are what yourself are not willing to do for someone and if you if you have to if you have to go now um to one specific point where you felt maybe the happiest or maybe your greatest success yeah um what was it to begin with what was it um i know you you were one of the youngest uh German athletes to win in Las Vegas? The first ever. The first, okay. Yeah, I made history for Germany. I was the first German athlete who ever fought in the MGM game and won there mm -hmm. in, a, in, a, in, a, uh, in a boxing bout. And uh, because a Arthur Abraham mm -hmm. was also there, but he lost his world title on the same card. Ah, so German overall, not just... Overall. You. Yeah, yeah, okay. The first of German course, Max Schmeling won against Joe Louis. Mm. Uh, one, nearly 100 years before, mm -hmm. but you know it wasn't at at the at the MGM Grand. They are like like Wembley. Yeah, yeah. In course. football, it's like MGM Madison Square Garden mm. and and um, MGM Grand. And um, yeah, it, I made history. And um, but for me personally. Everyone got his own. Maybe the one thing Vegas was mm. because I made history. I, I was breaking records. The one say the belt because you know the belt is looking good, and I was <laughs> you know crowned as um, two world champion. But for me personally, it was my second defense of my world title because in this fight I have learned more about myself than in all other fights together. I was nearly KO'd. In the fourth round, I was. They counted me two times. I, w I was counting out, and you know, it was like I couldn't remember, like it was yesterday. You know, it was like, and it was the first time. Everything was hyped and around me, and I was saying, you know, the German wonder boy. He can beat. No, no one can beat him. Everything, and I start believing this. You know, this mm -hmm. is this is the thing. Oh, also, I start believing the influence, the the hype. Mm -hmm. You know, but you never. If you, if the hype comes to your head and you start believing it, then you know, then you change your lane, mm -hmm. yeah, and then now now you're on the loser's lane because then now people control mm. yeah, what 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 you think, you know. But you just have to focus on your own, and this is what I've learned about myself. The the uh, my opponent KO'd me in the fourth round nearly totally, but I could save myself in the in the in the um, for the one minute break. And then my father told me, you know, my mother come to the ring and was, and she was willing to, to, um, um, to, to, um, to touch you, to reach. No, no, no to, to take the towel mm -hmm. from my dad to throw it in to end up the fight, you know. Mm. But my, my dad take the towel back and so go away. This is his choice and my choice if we continue or if we end up. And my dad told me, I just give you one more minute. If you're not able to fight back, I will never um, look or just sitting there and look like my my son okay. yeah, get that much punished. So I just give you one more minute. Show me on uh, in German way aus welchem Holz du geschnitzt bist, uh, on which material you yeah, are you have built been from, yeah. built from, or I will end up the fight. You know, and it was everything was like slow mo. I was looking like right, my family, everything, everyone was crying on the right side. The people were were happy because you know now yeah, like now I Leon get what he deserved. Now he get a KO. I was like everything was in slow mo. You know, and just look, my my dad he was shocked. Everyone was shocked, and I could in, and after that, after the fourth round, I could remember nothing. I turned the whole fight, and in the seventh or eighth round, my opponent wasn't. He, there was no more energy he had inside of him, mm. you know, and, and and he was like frustrating. And is it is it literally that the opponent sees you like get up and go again, which then puts him on the back foot, and he's like, okay, this guy's 
he has too much for me. I cannot beat him. Like it's like you did there. There, there are uh, multiple ways really, really to frustrate your opponent. Mm -hmm. But it was like, if you know, he was physical much more stronger. I was at this age. I was maybe 18 or 19, and he was 27. You know, he was a uh, and he, his six pack and muscles. He was much heavier and everything. You know, um, the politics was also against me. You know, they they um, they cheated on the scale. He was three kilos heavier than myself. It means from the rules, from the IBF rules, he he wasn't able to get the license to fight me. Mm. You know, but they cheated on the scale because they wanted me to lose. Mm. You know, it's also yeah. a game a game in politics. And um, but he was so frust frustrating because I, I because he he know he was the stronger guy, yeah. but he could not get me. And I won the fight because I was a technical much more better. I got more hands in it, mm. and I won the fight clearly by points. And after I could remember nothing. I just I, I gave the interview. I saw one one day after I get the interview, and I fall asleep in my in my changing room, mm. and I wake up next morning in my bed. <laughs> I was really at at the at the end of my energy. Really, yeah, it was like, but at, on this time I learned, and the, the time also after, next time I was getting, everyone was crying, my whole family. Yeah. Oh my God, what was happened? So much punish, you know, my, my son did it. I was like, yeah, everything is cool. Well, what happens yesterday? We won. Yeah, sure. I was like, but the, the picture, and this is also what, what, I, what, I, what I was gunning for at the beginning. The thing is, you know, no one can take something from me because I'm going in there alone and I'm left in there alone. No one can say it because I'm I'm successful because of him or because of her or something else, and this is also what makes me, you know, what what makes the sport for me something very special and very um, also personal because everyone f will find his own way to be successful in it. And um, but I learned a lot from my about myself. In the case of okay, um, not when you're partying, everything is with you, mm -hmm. but when you have a bad time. You know, who is with you and are you able to go through it? Uh, are you able to th go through the tests? And um, that, and after the, also the media and everything, oh, German Wunderkind was yesterday, today, uh, um, maybe, maybe it was his end and everything. And I learned about, a lot about the people, about the business, about social media, about um, mindset and everything, and about myself. And it was what made me set that much stronger to to pick up the pace i needed maybe a year it was a very hard time for me this time i needed a year to pick up my pace again and to start really to go into that point to believe in myself and to say okay you know um if i'm not believing myself why should everyone else believe mm. you know do you do you think that um do you think you as a as a person and your character has has boxing made you or were you really born for boxing and, and why do you think it's you doing boxing like what 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 about your character and personality mm. is for boxing i would say the my temperament you know my power my my let's say in um i live life on the left side of the highway you know i can't go on the right side you know i live a very fast life you know and i need this is my character I need to feel myself on a very specific way on fighting. You know, if you are, if you, I need to, or um, I think, you know, I already have reached something the most of people will never reach. And this is like, you know, I feel comfortable with myself mm. because, you know, I know my fears, but I'm also facing my fears. Every time I step up in the ring, I'm facing my fears. So I'm not running away from any, from anything, you know. The biggest fear what you can have to fight against someone who is maybe that good as you or better. And um, to face that, since they wanted, my dad made me a fighter, a fighter mindset. And the way of boxing is just yeah, to prove it. Uh, it was mm. just okay. Um, it was just to give me a pair of shoes and, a, and, a, and, a, um, and boxing is just the track. I was, I'm running for, you know, I was kickboxing, I doing Thai boxing, I doing grappling, you know, BJJ uh, wrestling, but it was boxing was was for me the thing where I where, where I was most addicted to, mm. and uh, but I can tomorrow I could go to the UFC, it wouldn't be any problem for me. I can fight every side, I can fight everything, and really there's really no one who can show me something that I've 
not did before in mm. the game of fighting. Yeah. So it, it's my character that made me uh, a performer when when I need him to to show up because you know I'm facing my I'm facing my um, my also the things I'm I'm scared or I've much more um, uh, like, like, what did I, what did I say the things I your fears yeah you have my fears yeah. I forget about a word, and um, but it's generally I think more the character. You know, also lots of professional athletes, um, uh, and I think everyone is very individual. But you know, you have to be that f that fire, that, that little fire, have to burn in yourself. Mm -hmm. And if you don't have this, then you're not you're not you don't have that to do it. Mm -hmm. You know that that thing that you are born with or not. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. and this is the thing what my dad my dad gave me. Uh, you you mentioned that um, about um, you know discovering or um, really sort of waking up to the actual person or character yeah. you are. Yeah. And I mean you're you're quite young and you seem to be very woke to 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 your person. Is there any is there any advice or any way you can? Um, because a lot of people like you know don't ever discover themselves. Of course, of course. How do you? How would you? If you had to, in a short one, two sentences, sum it up. How how could you help people discover themselves if they haven't done already so? Um, for me, a very big, a very big lesson, have, or something I understand really soon in my in my young life was, you know, everyone has to be honest to yourself, you know. And if you look at life, and if you start having a mindset that you don't pay anymore with money you pay with time then life becomes much more worth than it was before you know you don't pay you don't pay um with let's say a thousand bucks for for the ipad no you pay okay how much time do i have to work to pay that you if you if you start getting your mindset to pay in time then you will get a whole different uh, kind of view on life and what how worth is it and um And to be, I, I'm loving to play basketball. Really, mm -hmm. I love it. And I was like, but now, how much time do I would need to go where Michael Jordan have been once? It wouldn't be possible because the the main the main part of my life, when you are a kid, the influence what comes yeah. from outside makes you the person you are. We are we don't have really the choice. I don't can see. If, okay, if I'm if I'm um, maybe. Bosnian, if I'm American, if I'm Mexican, it doesn't matter because this is not my choice. But every day when I get up, I can fail the choice which way I want to go in life. And I have to be honest with myself, okay, what can I do? Everyone got good or bad things or things he can do good or things that he is not that good. And I was like, you know, my dad gave me boxing when I was young and sometimes also when I hate it and, and so much couple of times oh, I thought about to th just throw it in and hang the gloves on but it was like but at the end of the day I was just okay but you felt the choice and doesn't matter what you're doing it's, had, it's good and it bad. there's nothing perfect in life perfect is just it should be a word that doesn't exist because nothing will ever be perfect yet yeah, and The human being is just, if everything would be perfect in general, we're looking to make a problem that it, that would, it, it won't be perfect at the end. So to be honest to yourself and see, okay, what, what I'm good in and to build up in things that you are good in. You know, if my, if my dad would be a, a golf player or a football player, then I'd be a footballer today. Of course, because my dad had the maximal of influence in my life and, um, and to use that. And not go against it, yeah. and and this is to being honest to yourself, not lie to yourself, or, or not not jumping on any an, on an hype or something else. Just just believe in your skills, and maybe everyone got a, 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 a influence on life, and to use it okay, and to sit down and write on the paper what what can I do good and what can I do best? Because in my think, or in my opinion, um, it's not that important and um, that. The things I'm whack in to be better at, no, the things I'm good in to be to try to be perfect in. So that my that the things that I'm good in are so good that everything that I'm whack in will stay in the shadow. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? So yeah, because sure. the things that makes you good can you can bring you to the top, but the things that makes you whack will never bring you to the top, even if they are 
even if, if you need 10 years to do they're good they're still good but the things that ha that are good can be nearly perfect we will never reach the state of perfect because everyone is making mistakes but you can gun for it and try it out and um and to write it down to use the time i think the a lot a lot of the juve you know on on my generation is kind of lost mm -hmm. you know they don't know what to do with the times playstation fortnite mm. or something <laughs> else but you know it's like everyone got his own we to spend time where you get nothing back of course i could i could i could stay at home and uh, esport okay everyone would want to be a live streamer influencer or esport but you know um It's like yeah. do something in life, not what makes what gives you money. Do something in life what gives you luck, what makes you feel lucky, what makes you feel comfortable, what makes you feel free. Yeah, you know, sure. this is what what is really important in life, and not to look about material things. You know, come and go, and you all, you also don't use you don't take that with you when you go under your earth uh, uh, after your life, and um, yeah, to pay with time. To to go on your point, you were saying about um, you know really making the the things that you're good at trying to make those perfect um, and obviously also working on the things that you're not so good at um, what you know in the world of sport and not just boxing uh, everything's changing a lot um, you have a lot more a lot more facilities a lot more yeah. technology information available um, what are you doing at the moment or what 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 other aspects of sport whether that's a, the physical side or the mental side or um What's interesting you, apart from just the boxing, to, to keep you on top of, the, of your game? Is there a part of sport that you're looking into, researching, or, or such a thing? I think um, general sport is, is so interesting. And um, I love also to, to read about the history, you know. And um, I just, in general, because... It's always if if you go a step back, like the influence I've I've become in the in the early in the early years, you know I felt like a kind of addiction. You know, it's just like okay, you you start learning. Also, my life was um, was set to the direction of boxing, and it was like okay, you have to be better in English. So focusing on your English, you know, focusing on okay, do your homework. Who was fighting last Saturday, and just to to start to start to use your time also in things okay to stay not also in gym or do the sports so also okay what happens you know mm -hmm. to stay up to date you know to 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 understand the business it's always about business every show t or that's that's the show business it's about okay the most of the people are not not that successful where they could be because they don't they don't understand that it's not about sport or just a little case it's about business about marketing in our in our in our world in general it's uh, we living in a different time we are Muhammad Ali and, and, and Mike Tyson was a different time you know everyone was just looking at the fights but now social media even if you are let uh, let's say dumb you can be successful because you can play Sony every day or, or Fortnite and, and can make good money for it you know mm -hmm. the time changes the opportunities changes so and you have to go with it and yeah I think what you what you mean there, and uh, I quite like that point. But and a lot of I think whether upcoming or, or the the youth of today, um, especially in sport, they never really actually. And I'm I'm also a culprit of it. And, no. um I never and people don't really deep down dedicate themselves, um, whether it's just to their sport. Or to the to sport in general, whether that's you know yeah. physical well being yeah. or stuff, but like it's so important to um, to dedicate yourself to your sport to know exactly what happened before, what's yeah. happening now, what will maybe happen in the future. You have to know, you, even though it's sport, you have to know your work, your of course. business that of you're course. in, and it's not just enough to you know. Uh, uh, live by the motions of every day and thinking okay I'm training hard I'm eating good it's gonna happen yeah. you have to you have know to have what a you're plan doing. yes you have to have a plan a vision and it's also you know it's not about okay I I, um, I read about an uh, interview of uh, of I think one of the one of the um, most successful power lifters in this world mm -hmm. and um, a reporter asked him what is the most important um, 
What is the most important, let's say, uh, Wiederholung, also um, reputation, reputation, reputation yeah. in the gym. Mm. And he said, um, if you if you if you set, let's say, if you want to make 10 reputations, then the most important is the 11. Mm -hmm. So you have to be the best version of your own. Always, you have to push yourself to limit. Always to be better than you have yeah, been yesterday. One, yeah. So, but this is just on the dedication part in the gym. But you know, you have if you're not willing like this kind of life, a sport life, an athlete life, to direct everything, your whole, the people around you, your life, you know, your hobbies and everything in this direction, you will not get enough to achieve it. So, and, um, but this is the truly behind it. Mm -hmm. You know, I have so much good fighters, but it's, it's not enough just to be a good fighter, to be successful in it. You mm -hmm. know, there were, there were, there were fighters who there was a time where fighters were better than myself years ago who who was I where we trained together and everything but you know they throw everything in the corner you know and say no I stopped this but it's also like okay to stay there and keep moving forward and mm. keep moving forward and, and to go through the hard time and go to another hard time and to cry again and go to another hard time you know and to be very serious you know it's not a game Yeah, sure. Not not only sport, life is not a game. We should use that time. You know, we're not here for the life in this in this moment. Life is to, is the end is here. You know, if I it was yesterday when I was 20 and it was also yes uh, one day before when I was 18. You know, maybe for a lot of people say, "Hey, you're 22. Okay, you're also young." But I I met really I met the uh, um, the person in my life who I can say this is for me. The most um, bodenständig. Um, also he's, uh, he has he, his feet on the floor, yeah, feet on the ground. The people like who had and it, it was this is my sponsor, mm -hmm. MLP. You know he's a billionaire mm -hmm. and he's 83 years old. You know, and I was sitting with him. You know, and, and every sportman, the people was telling me I would pay thousands of euros just to have one hour talking with this man and to get experience. And he is calling me Saturday in the morning, and and was competition with me. I was now doing thousand meters um, on 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 the on the bicycle. Mm. You know, what did you do? I was I was ten kilometer running. Who get a better time? I was. It was like mm. so human. I have never met uh, so much. Um, with a foot on the ground being human being and it was so but still successful yeah, yeah. but he, one of the successful he was on Forbes on the, on the richest people on um, a few years ago on the rich, 50 rich, richest people on earth and I was like damn this is, is it's in, insane and, but he was like you know he told me I don't have to make money with you you know I love when people burn for something mm -hmm. and maybe I can help you a little bit You know, to go to that point where I want to see you in the next three years. You know, I have everything. You know, I have the kids of my kids have kids. You know, we're sitting with 25 people every Sunday. We're eating together. Every one of us is healthy. You know, I know I'm 83 now. If I don't have that much more time here on this planet. But, you know, I'm, I'm comfortable with myself. Sure. And I was like, in these words, you know, was like, wow, how, how can a human being so much amazing, so much with his feet on the ground, even if you don't have to, even if I maybe um, just from the money or, or something, or from this, from this kind of view, nothing in his eyes. But, you know, he, see, he sees the fire in my eyes and he loves that. You know, he comes to me like, like, like I'm his best friend or something else, you know. Mm. And this kind of mentality is, is really the only thing I'm gunning for to... Even, I don't know if I, if I will be 83 one day, you know, I, I hope so. And I have kids like his and family, but, you know, um, I just wish for me that I have the same mindset, and the same kind of view of life like this man. And I, that I never lost my hurt and, and the habits to doing something good or giving something back. Even, doesn't matter how much I, I will have or not have in life. This was a very, very wonderful moment in my life, yes. And if you do reach a billionaire status with your friend, what's the first thing you would buy? All boxes love uh, love the bling and the cars. If really, <laughs> it, it's funny because um, last Saturday we were, I was at my family's house and we were talking, and my mother loves um, dancing, 
and I and I told her if I had if I have my first million, I swear I will buy you a club <laughs> that you can make your own party. <laughs> you will you will be the doorman, you will be everything you can and boss, yeah. you can choose the music. Not not for making money or something, just that you can Dance and dance oh, and making want. party all night long in your own club, and you don't have to care about nothing. You are the chef. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is one of the first things I would do, but you know, it's like I I've already you know this. I enjoy the time. I have everything I need. Of course, maybe I I would have a a, a bigger house or nicer this or nicer that or more vacation or something else. But you know, I'm healthy. My family is healthy. I have family. You know, I I live my dream or I'm I'm on the way to achieve my dream goals. You know, there's nothing there's nothing more money could give me in this in this in this kind of direction. So, yeah. I'm confident with myself. You know, money comes, money goes. But you know, at the end of the day, I can look in the man in the mirror and say, yeah, you. You always have been on your right lane, and you never left it for 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 any pocket money or for any um, billions or millions or what the people are saying. It's just good. Um, good way to to bring us on on the the last serious point we can call it. Um, looking back now, you say you're yeah. We we all know you're only 22, um, in, and you know doing well in in boxing. But if you had to go back, whether it's five. Uh, five, seven, ten years uh, already with, with your experience that you have. Um, what is one thing that you've learned that you would change, uh, that you, you would do differently? Or maybe maybe something that you, you did um, that, you know, keeps you awake at night, that keeps you, you know, that gives you restless sleep, that you think, I wish I had done that different, or... You know, I wish I didn't do it, or or, or, or either way. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is a good one. Um, this is I had this <clears throat> a lot of times when I'm in in, in um, critical conversations, like or discussions or something else. It's like after it, you know, they're coming um, arguments in my mind where I say, you know, with these arguments I would blast them away. But you know, in this time when I'm a little bit emotional, you know, I forget about a lot of things, and. Um, Is there any big thing um, I would change, I would do, or would not do? Poo, this is a good one. I need, I need a bit of time to think about that. <laughs> um, of course, there is no just. But maybe it's a good sign if you if you have to think hard. Maybe it's uh, it's also a there good thing. you know there there's there's nothing really big where I said oh this is a mistake because you know I've never cheated on someone not in in the case of my girlfriend or something else generally I have never cheated on someone in life you know I've always tell the truth you know I'm confident with myself I can look in the mirror so in general I I really um I really had the oh no that's that's one thing but I think this is the this is the kind of learning lessons I had to pay I, if I would could back, I wouldn't trust the people, the manager with a big with a big Maybach and a big Rolex, not that much about the bling bling mm. and everything that is cool because it's everything is a lie. I wouldn't trust because I lost a lot of time yeah, in this time because I, I I believed in this what they was talking to me because it's it's not it's not the biggest art you know to 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 fascinate a young boy. Who, who don't have that much money, who's, who will never come from a rich family or doesn't know this kind of life with, uh, with lots, of, lots of cash on the, on the table or something else, you know, it's, it's, it's easy. Let's say it's easy. But, you know, they manipulated me also in a, in a time, made me um, fail wrong decisions, mm. not big decisions in my life. I was always staying in my lane, but they steal me a lot of time. I, I could use that better if I would think about that now. But in general, it's it was okay. I think it was those learning lessons, and I and I'm now. I think it's not about not doing mistakes to learn from your mistakes, mm -hmm. and not to spend too much time to do it again and again and again. <laughs> so yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Um, cool. We um, we're, we're coming to the end, and um, what uh, some of the the production here came up with that we do basically um, a few questions okay but you have to uh, try and answer 
directly and as quickly as possible. Okay. So not, um, it's not really, it's not deep, it's not... Uh, it's know, like, a, like a kind of a game, a little game. Yeah, exactly. Okay. It's like a quick fire round. Um, All right, let's go. That we just go through. Um, and, you know, most of them are really lighthearted, just some fun stuff also. Okay, okay, okay. Um, Okay, let's uh, let's begin. Um, so it's just to to as fast and as quickly as possible. As, yeah. Okay. You don't. I mean, you don't have to be super quick, yeah. but like we don't have to elaborate. Is there any record to break? No, not yet. <laughs> not yet. Um, okay. Uh, favorite movie. Um, King Arthur: Legend of the Sword. Okay. <laughs> nice. Uh, favorite song. <sighs> Favorite song. Um, There's a song. Um, it's called "Alles wird gut" mm -hmm. from Bushido, the German rapper. And I hear this song. Read re this song is a part of my life since years, and it gives me motivation and also to go through times. This is a song that um, stays in my lane since I can think about it. I don't know how old this song already is. Okay. Uh, favorite food or dish. Oof. Oh, this is a bad one. Oh, and if you love food, um, it's a, it's really a, a, a Boston recipe. <laughs> you know, a klepe. Yeah. You know, it's like it's like kind of a. Um, it's like a gnocchi. Yeah, like but but uh, filling with with a little bit of meat yeah. and and, yeah. and a special sauce yeah. in there. You know, when um, when I go back to the time I, I had a girlfriend. And her grandmother was doing this in a in a in a, a possum. Uh, I start talking in Bosnian in a specific <laughs> recipe. Yeah. You know, I I start falling in love with this kind of food. And um, yeah, mm -hmm. of course. Uh, PlayStation or Xbox? Oh, PlayStation, of course. Favorite game? I hate playing FIFA because I would I am starting to rage, and um, I would say if I if I play. I love to play GTA. This is a good, a, a classic. Okay. Um, life goal. Um, to be free. To be free. Elaborate. 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 So it's, uh, tell us more on um, this. You know, to 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 make to get up in the morning and you have to have that free time that there's no that you can that you can create your life by your own. You know, this is the only thing and to be free, you know, and this is the only way have family, have kids, yeah, being healthy and um, yeah, just create a life by your own to do what you want to do, whatever you want to do and to don't have to ask no one about it. This is the only thing in life what is, what is for me that makes a life lifeable. Three things which... Uh, you think you need to reach uh, an elite sporting level? Um, three things. Um, mindset, dedication, and uh, hard work. Okay, that's good. And the last one is Leon Bauer, golden rule to life. Golden rule to life. Ooh, this is also a little bit of a deep one. Um, let me think about it. Um, do you have a motto you live by, or just one rule that you? A big thing, or uh, for me, more important that I feel good is to hold on to my word. I'm in German. We have a German speech. Ein Mann, ein Wort, and. Um, My always my dad told me when I was since I'm a kid, you know, if you stick to your word, you can now sitting with criminals tomorrow with a mafia and with lawyers. But you can sit with every group in in general in life if the people know that you stick to your word. You know, don't go left, don't go right, don't talk about it if you cannot stick to it. Yeah, but if you talk about it, stick to it. Be the man of your be the man of your word. Yes, that's a good one. I like that. Uh, last, very last question. Actually, it's it's a chance for you to ask a question um, because usually, and I know from my own experience, there's always maybe you coming here 
you were thinking about something like, uh, oh, I wish he asked me this. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So it's, it's a question that maybe you would like to ask yourself. What would it be? <sighs> to really get an answer from yourself that's... I, I have a question where I think I will never get an answer, but I like that question. Yeah, go. Sounds good. Um, what is life about? What is life all about? What What is the job of a one of us here on this earth? You know, it's it's like it's a very deep where where, where no one of us um, will ever be um, an answer of it. Or in my opinion, maybe someone knows, and then then call me on Instagram or, or <laughs> write me down on Instagram. Um, not just joking. But what is What is important life? What is what depends life on? What is life? What means life? You know, what is the what is the what is the reason why every one of us is here? So, it's a good question to ask yourself. So there we have it. Uh, first podcast is up from us here, Leon Bauer. Yeah, uh, it was a pleasure. It's a good note to finish it on, and uh, hopefully we'll have you back for the for the next round. Of course, uh, keep tuned. Enjoy. In. And um, stay, stay blessed.